everybody welcome back to my channel my name is eggy and today we're talking about a very interesting topic um i recently bought a couple of jackets from the brand arctrix so today i'll be talking about why i decided to purchase those jackets and how i plan to wear them i don't have to party to have fun you see i got different hobbies and that's all i need so as you guys know from my previous vlogs, uh, I did speak about my pr new purchase of the two Arcturix jackets. Um, I have a shell and a base layer. So when I first um, thought about buying the Arcturix, I had I was a little bit confused. Why is there a shell? Why is there an Arcturix? So I thought it would be beneficial to others too who are looking to get more information about what each layer is for. And I think it's also a cool place to, you know, share what we think of, think of the jackets and maybe there are other ones that are actually better than these ones. So the reason why I decided to buy an Arcturix jacket is because mainly the Gore-Tex material. So I actually have a windproof and supposedly waterproof jacket. My boyfriend has the same one. So when he was using the jacket in... Hong Kong during monsoon season which he thought it was windproof and waterproof he realized that it was not waterproof because in the seams it wasn't sealed so it seeped in so he got drenched anyways he ended up buying another Gore-Tex jacket for that purpose and for me I plan to go visit him right so I thought it would always be very helpful to have a Gore-Tex jacket that is windproof and waterproof especially if you go to Asia during monsoon season and it's it rains so hard that a jacket will not help the only thing that will help is probably a rain poncho and a Gore-Tex jacket that, that's about it because there, there's no other way to keep the water down I when I went I was very lucky to have a rain jacket with me i didn't intend to bring it for that purpose but i happened to have one just in case and literally it saved us and but even then my shoes were completely drenched my socks were completely drenched and when you're on vacation you want to make the best out of it right so we didn't end up going back to the hotel and we kind of just kind of sucked it up for the rest of the day but what we learned from that trip was that monsoon season is the real deal and umbrellas do not work. We saw a lot of people just thinking that umbrellas would work. So they would bring out the umbrellas and they were still drenched because it was very windy and ext raining extremely, extremely hard, like a bucket of water. So there's no way that umbrellas would save you from that. So that's the first reason why I decided to get a Gore-Tex jacket. The second reason why I decided to get the base layer was because I've always been looking for a jacket that's light enough for me to carry around when I'm traveling. A lot of the times at night, it's cool. So for example, um, a couple, I think a year ago, or two years ago, I went to San Francisco in December and I thought because it's San Francisco, right? So I thought it would be warm. But the truth is in the morning and in the afternoon, it was slightly chilly there were a couple of hours where it was warmer but on average it was chilly and good thing i brought a jacket with me because in canada it's actually freezing cold and it was snowing so i had that with me and then therefore i was okay but going forward it would be good for me to bring a jacket just in case it's never bad to have a lightweight jacket so i decided to splurge on an arcturix for that for a base layer for that reason initially i was planning to get a uniqlo um bubble sweater not bubble sweaters bubble jacket the ones that you can fold them and it, it into like a little like bag i was thinking of getting that but the reason why i ended up not getting that is because my mom actually has one and she informed me that it was warm as a base layer but it doesn't really protect you from the winds and it's not that warm that you can wear during the winter so for me if i were to buy a jacket i might as well spend a little bit more money for a better quality jacket that i can wear for various circumstances instead of just one circumstance and then i would have to buy another one and the gore-tex one as well which is the shell as well like i didn't want to just buy a jacket just to realize that it doesn't serve my need. Through research, I found out Arctrix makes one of the best waterproof jackets and therefore I decided to spend 
a little bit more money to buy those two pieces. So one of the differences is that as you can tell here, there's like a, um, I guess plastic protection for all of the zippers. So what that means is that if it rains, it won't go into the jacket. So as you can tell, it's like really well sealed, this jacket. Like the whole way down, like all zippers, it's very, very well sealed. And versus the middle layer, which is not sealed. So you can tell it's not shiny. It's a windbreaker and it's a little bit waterproof, but it's not as waterproof as the outer shell. And that's why you wear this inside and this on the outside. Another thing that makes it different is that this is made, the, this outer shell is made with Gore-Tex material, which is known to be um, Arcturex's uh, specialty material to ensure that it is waterproof and windproof as well. So nothing can go through this jacket. Just wanted to open up the jacket for you guys. So when you open up the jacket, you can tell this is very thin. And you, you can see that it, the lining for the jacket, this is basically the lining of the jacket. So everywhere that it is stitched, it is sealed to ensure that water does not go through the jacket. And there is this thing here and you can actually make the jacket tighter. So when you wear it and you want to make sure that it's, it seals it in even more, you can use this and tighten your jacket. Same thing for the other side, it's really well sealed. Whereas for the Atom LT, it is an insulated jacket, but it is not um, a Gore-Tex jacket and it is not a shell. So you can tell like it's thin because it is lightweight, but it's not as thin as the shell. And also, um, it's actually a lot softer too. And it's meant to uh, keep you warm. Whereas this, I think will keep you warm to some degree because it is um, waterproof and windproof, but not as much as this. And that's why you would need this as a middle layer. And I'll just show you guys uh, how it looks with both of these on. Um, I'm wearing my Lululemon t-shirt, so it's just a black t-shirt. Um, I'm wearing my Lululemon uh, leggings that I have for hiking. It's the uh, 31 inch, I believe. Like the length is 31 inch, so it does go all the way until your um, ankles, which I like because I am usually loved by mosquitoes, unfortunately. So I try to cover as much as I can so I don't get eaten alive by mosquitoes. But um, I will show you guys how to wear these two. So first I will put this one on as the base layer. So as you guys can tell, you zip it all the way up. This is very tight. Um, there is a different fabric here. It's very breathable. This side as well, so it's very breathable. And if it's not that cold or um, you don't, or if it's not raining, then uh, just to block the wind, this is good. Uh, so this is what I have as my base layer. And now I'm going to wear the shell. This again, extremely lightweight, and you can hear this. This is like really, really thin, like super duper thin. And I would say not as breathable as this because this is meant to, I guess, con like uh, hold everything in, contain everything in to make sure that not no uh, heat seeps out. So, oh, another thing I want to know, look at where this, the middle layer goes to my hand. It's actually right at my wrist. Just to show you guys. And when you wear this, the shell, it comes up to here. So my the inner jacket, the base layer, is actually um, the the arm length is shorter than the shell because the shell is meant to be um, the I guess the overall protector. So just wearing this without zipping it on, this is how it looks like. One thing to add, um, it is a small on the in the inside one, the base layer, and also a small for the shell. So both of these are the same size, so they're both small. 
Now I'm gonna zip it up for you guys. And even with the zipper, it's, it sounds different because this is, um, I guess, waterproof because of the um, lining that they did. It's waterproof lining. So it's actually more difficult to zip up the shell than to zip up the middle layer. And this is how it looks like. So right now, this is how I would wear, what I would wear to go hiking. And obviously, it's a little loose down here. So I would use this and kind of pull, pull this. To make this tighter if I wanted to. So this is how it looks like tighter. It's just very easy. You just kind of pull on the side. Just get it loose. Again, with the pockets, and pockets. And again, it is waterproof because it is sealed. This is the back. And I'll just show you guys how it looks like with the hat on. And I want to say something about this hat. So this is the normal one. So this is the inner layer. And this is the outer layer. So as you can tell here, it actually, there's like a little bit of a spoop. So if there's water on top of your head, it will actually like go around you. So you'll be completely warm and protected from the wind, the heat, no, sorry, not the heat, the wind and the rain. So this is perfect, especially this spout here, which I really like. And again, the same as the middle layer, they have the drawstring to make sure that your hat or your hood fits on your head, which is right here. So I'm so excited to wear this for hiking. I am sweating like crazy right now because this is really, really warm and I am inside my house, but I know I am prepared for my hiking adventures. So if you guys have any questions, let me know about these two because initially too, I was really confused. Like, what's an insulator layer? What's a middle layer? What's a face layer? Why do I need a shell? Like, confusing. And drop it in my comments section below if you have any questions or if you want any clarifications for this. Uh, so yeah. Oh, one thing I want to say. The sleeves are Velcro, so if you want it tighter, you can. If you prefer to have it like right at the uh, wrist, and you want it tighter, you can do that. Other than that, it can also be loose if you want. So I like the loose because I already have one inside that's pretty tight for me. So water, not water, yeah, rain, water, and so on won't go in. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you like the video, please give me a like. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel for more content. And I will see you later. Bye. Look at the beautiful stars I wanna drive a faster car